the Oklahoma Sooners great offseason continues because today they picked up the commitment of the number two running back in the nation, Gavin Sawchuk, and we have got to break it down. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from y'all. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited with the one-two punch in this Sooners class of Relique Brown and Gavin Sawchuk? And let me know what you're thinking there. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification because I do constant college football content and you don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoy that content, be sure to like, comment down below. Those interactions are massive for content creators such as myself. And though I didn't think I'd be able to get this video out today, lo and behold, we made it back to the hotel room and I couldn't help but talk about this because this is that big of a deal. Gavin Sawchuck is a massive win for Lincoln Riley, DeMarco Murray, and the Sooners, and we expected something to come this past weekend when we had tweets kind of referencing that a commitment had happened, or at the very least, a silent. DeMarco Murray this weekend tweeted out Yamaha, which was an indication that some good news had happened at Champ U Barbecue, and we now know that good news was the commitment of Gavin Sawchuck, the number two running back in the nation, and this kid is a home run hitter. Pull up his highlight tape and you can see anytime he touches the ball, he has the ability to take it the distance, whether that's in his capacity as a true running back, getting it on a halfback sweep or whatever have you, or his, his ability to catch the ball out the backfield. This kid has got a deep, deep skill set. And what's so exciting to me is when we look at the combination of Gavin Sawchuk and Relique Brown, that right there should put every college football team in the nation on notice because those two dudes right there are electric with the ball in their hands. And if you've been to the channel before, you've heard me talk about Relique Brown in particular, saying that anytime he gets the ball in his hands, he is a threat to take it the whole way. He has so much ability and so much electricity to him that he is just a flat out playmaker. And him in that Lincoln Riley system is going to be a problem for the Big 12. But now you can magnify that when you add in a Relique Brown in that Lincoln Riley system with a Gavin Sawchuck. And we haven't even begun to talk about the running backs that are currently on roster for the Sooners. The Oklahoma Sooners future, while we've always known it is a very positive one, is really positive in that running back room right now. And that wasn't even an area where the Sooners had a big need. Of course, you always take in playmakers like Relique Brown and Gavin Sawchuck. But being able to double down on that type of playmaker Maker, every other college in the nation wishes they were in that position. The Oklahoma Sooners are also vaulted into the top 10 recruiting classes in the nation, and more specifically the top five, and they are one of three classes in the nation to maintain and achieve a top 10 rank with less than double digit numbers in this class. And furthermore, what is actually more impressive and what I want to turn people's attention to is if you go to 24-7 Sports and their recruiting rankings page and you see where the teams are rated, Oklahoma actually sits at third if we take into account the average player rating behind only the Alabama Crimson Tide who sit with I believe a 95 Ohio State who sits around a 94 and then the Oklahoma Sooners sitting at a 93.83 that is phenomenal and if you're a Sooners fan that should excite you exponentially because one of the things we talked about with last year's recruiting cycle that was a little misleading is that Oklahoma was out of the top 10 recruiting classes but if you looked at that average rating of the recruit they got they were recruiting at a high, as high of a level as anybody in the nation last year. That recruiting class had the average recruit ranking last year of a top 10 class. They just simply didn't have the numbers that other institutions had within that top 10, which allowed them to accrue more total points instead of an average rated recruit. But make no mistake, that past class for OU was stellar. They just didn't have the numbers, and then they go out and do a master class in the transfer portal. I mean, putting on an absolute clinic and how to identify guys that you believe can help your system and help your team and go out there and get them. Wanye Morris, Key Lawrence, and Eric Gray, just to name a few. Not to mention Mike Woods in that receiving room, which goodness gracious, the Oklahoma Sooners already had a stacked wide receiver room. But going back to Gavin Sawchuk and Relique Brown, specifically Gavin Sawchuk, the number two running back in the nation is someone who we thought would be an Oklahoma lean for quite some time. We heard not too long ago, USC made a really good impression when he had his visit there, which makes you feel so good if you're an OU fan, because you're locked in battles with USC with other top prospects, namely a Gentry Williams. And make no mistake, I'm not saying that Gavin's decision is Gentry Tree's decision, but you can feel better knowing that you just won a head-to-head -head with that institution, that you have so many great head-to-head -head battles going right now. This is a phenomenal victory for the Sooners. This kid is a phenomenally talented back. 24-7 Sports comps him to Christian McCaffrey. If you watch the film, it's kind of easy to understand where that comp comes in. This kid is going to be a one of one. This kid is a Gavin Sawchuck, make no mistake about it, and he's going to be a name we're talking about in the future when he gets to college football. I have no doubt about it. I can't wait to see 
what Lincoln Riley and the Sooners are going to do with this backfield that consists of so many talented running backs both this season and into the future, but specifically when Relique Brown and Gavin Sawchuk get there and share that backfield with a Trey Bradford and all the other talented offensive playmakers that OU has, the future of the Sooners we already knew was bright. But doubling down on that type of running back with that type of skill set, a top five running back in the nation, you cannot argue with that. And you have got to love where the Oklahoma Sooners sit right now going into the month of July, which we think is going to be the absolute fireworks month for commitment. The Champ U barbecue was incredibly well received, and I think that July is going to be a very positive month for the Sooners because they have put themselves in such a positive place in so many big battles. Hop down to the comments, let me know what you're thinking about Gavin Sawchuck's commitment to the Oklahoma Sooners, because this seems like a match made in heaven, and I cannot wait to see he and Le Relique Brown get on campus and tear up the Big 12. That's it. See ya.